Hello everyone and welcome back to a tutorial. Now this tutorial is going to be how to install LSPDFR 0.3.1 along with Ragehook, Scriptook 5, and the Community Scriptook 5 which are the necessary components to run LSPDFR itself. Now I have made a tutorial like this back in the past but it has since then updated uh, along with like everything so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it again. Uh, there's a lot of raised questions and uh, concerns from the previous episode I've been getting so I decided to make an updated tutor tutorial such as this one to um, cover all of that and to completely show you how to install it again since everything has been updated. So of course you want to go on your internet browser and go on lspdfr.com or lcpdfr.com it's, it's going to look like this and you click on GTA 5 mods here and lspdfr pretty self explanatory. What you do from here is you go ahead and click on it and uh, you make sure it's the 0.3.1 file uh, yeah it just make sure it's like that file right there and uh, from here you just want to go ahead and download this file right here and agree and download now I recommend doing a manual install because you have more control and you are able to do it yourself so you know what you're doing for a future reference. Once LSPDFR is downloaded come over to RagePluginHook.net which I'll have all these links in the description in order to uh, make sure you have all of these in order as well as you see at the top of the tabs here. But um, yeah, next come over to Rage Plugin Hook, hit accept. It's going to place cookies in your computer which are uh, needed to be placed on there to actually go on the website itself. Uh, so as you can see, this is the latest Rage Plugin Hook Open Alpha, which is 0.40 at this time. So we're going to go ahead and click it and download it. doesn't take long to download at all. Uh, from here, go to the third website, which is communityscriptcook5.net. Go ahead and click download here and it'll bring you to this. Click uh, the first link right here and we'll go ahead and download that. And from here come over to the actual Scriptook 5 website. This is the official uh, website, website which is devc.com. This is the official website, don't download it from anywhere else. Here it'll show when it's been released and what version of GTA 5 it supports. And um, as you can see it's all good to go my game version is that so I am able to use this go ahead and click download right here it'll bring you straight to the download link and hit save from here we want to go ahead and go to uh, the main directory oops it's on my second monitor there my main directory is under program files a6 steam steam apps common and this is my lsbdfr directory go ahead and click on that and as you can see as you can see this is a modded directory so we're gonna go ahead and place LSPDFR in there first of all stupid ad ads by Renoir uh, so as you can see this is what's in the LSPDFR files itself it's going to include all rage hook files and um, the plugin files so what you're going to do is control A on all of them make sure it's all selected and go ahead and drag it into your main directory make sure it's not over any folders make sure it's like off to the side here and not on any folders now I'm not going to drag and drop it there since I already have it installed, I don't want to add install to injury, but it's the same concept. So after you installed LSPDFR 0.3.1, go ahead and open the Rage uh, plugin hook, which you downloaded, and go ahead and click on one file, Control A to uh, select all of them. Now hold Control and deselect SDK, which is only for de developers and you do not need it. From here, go and drag all these files into your main directory over the files that you've placed from the LSPDFR folder and um, all of that. Then you have the current Rage plugin hook uh, supported patch and you should be good to go from there. From here, you want to open the scriptwork5.net uh, community scriptwork5 that we downloaded and um, go ahead and select these four files right here. These are crucial and you want to make sure that it's those four files. From here, go ahead and have those selected, drag them into your main directory. Not over any folders, just over here to the side in your main directory. From here, you want to actually install Scriptwork 5 itself. So it'll have these folders in it, it'll look similar to this. Go ahead and click bin. And as you see, all of these files here. Now, if you already have a trainer installed and you, and you do not want an extra trainer, go ahead and deselect that trainer. And uh, we're going to be dragging these two files in the main directory as well along with the other files and you should be good to go from there so uh, that's about it and how to install LSPDFR and how to you know get it working I do have another video coming out soon on how to install callouts and mods so if you want to see that let me know down in the comments below and or by leaving a like 
And if this helped you out, and uh, you know, just give it a like and let others know that it worked. And if you do not have it working, comment down below what the causes are and what's happening with your game, and I'll try my best to help you. Or some people in the comments can help you as well. So without further ado, that's been this video. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.